Happy Super Bowl Sunday, happy Groundhog Day, happy Palindrome Day, 0202-2020. What else is it? A wind advisory day. We are looking at a wind advisory in effect across Northern California. This will expire around 7 p.m. for the Valley, for Sacramento, Sutter, Sutter, Yolo, Solano, as well as Placer counties. And we'll also see that this wind advisory remains in effect till 4 a.m. near the Bay Area. Further south, though, we'll see a dense fog advisory from Merced South through the mid-morning hours. We are looking at some dense fog there, but also some thick fog throughout the Valley areas from Modesto, Stockton, and into Sacramento. Once again, visibility is limited down to about 0 to 1 mile early morning hours. Otherwise, we'll start to see that clear around 9 a.m. All right, so let's talk about today with that foggy start. We'll get that sunshine later on. We do have a quick morning rain chance. I'm talking very quick chance to see a scattered shower, 20% chance at this point, but we will see some Sierra snowfall, especially uh, further south as temperatures start to drop throughout the afternoon hours. This will help to bring in some more of that snowfall, but we'll see limited snow accumulation down to about one to even three inches. Now, this wind advisory is discussing it's going to be anywhere from 20 to 30 30 mile per hour winds and gusts could reach up to about 30 to 40 miles per hour. So it'll be a strong one here as that low pressure system continues shifting toward the toward the east here. We're also looking at that cold front that'll start passing northern California, also bringing in some of those strong winds. So let's talk about this. Where are we looking at some of the strongest points for winds today? Well, what we will see is anywhere from 5 to 10 mile per hour winds through the morning hours and picking up through the Sierra early on and through Yosemite. Look at that pink shade, about 50 mile per hour wind gusts. And then in the Bay Area, we'll see about 15 mile per hour winds to even almost 30 mile per hour winds by 9.30 a.m. Now, fast forward here toward our Super Bowl. We'll get to kick off there around 20 mile per hour winds in the valley, picking up for San Francisco, 25 miles per hour. And we'll also expect to see anywhere from 15 to 20 mile per hour winds through the Sierra. Some stronger gusts also continuing for areas of uh, Yosemite and also toward areas of Reno, looking at some strong winds. Now, later on this evening, things will start to calm down to about 10 miles per hour, anywhere from 5 to 10, really. And we'll see a quick pickup as we start to move into Monday and Monday afternoon, evening, anywhere from 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. Once again, the fog advisory, excuse me, the wind advisory has not been issued yet for that Monday. OK, so let's talk about some of that fog lifting for the day ahead. It'll slowly start to lift as we get to the mid morning hours. Things start to shift their way further toward the south and east as it all starts to dissipate. And then we'll expect to see right around 1130 and most of the valley areas starting to clear up with some sunshine. Now we did mention it is Groundhog Day. Uh, Punksy Phil here came out and he did not see a shadow today. It was in fact uh, snowing there where he was. And now we're going to expect to see early spring. So what we are looking at now is actually above average temperatures for most of the country, especially toward the eastern U.S. We've been facing a pretty warm winter with those above average temperatures. And well, with that, most of that side here, look at this well above average projection here for the next six to 10 days out. And you can see most of the country uh, from central toward western U.S. We're looking at normal and about average temperatures, not below, just about normal. Some areas a little above average. Other Otherwise, we only have one spot here that is going to see a few below average temperatures in the next six to 10 days. So we have been warm in a lot of areas, even reporting some of their flowers springing up early. But it is also the Super Bowl today, and we'll start to see uh, the game kicking off there around 3, 3.30 ish. And we'll also expect to see a nice forecast ahead, especially in Northern California. So we have the Chiefs taking on player two, the Niners and the forecast here. Well. We're expecting about 55 degrees, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies through the afternoon hours. It really is expected to be a nice day as soon as we get through that morning fog with sunshine. The only caveat here is you're still dealing with those strong winds. So again, if you have any uh, barbecue plans outside, you can still do that. You may just need to take down a tent or an umbrella that you may be using uh, that's already out in the patio. If you haven't taken it down, I mean, most people take it down during the wintertime. All right, mid 50s through the week, we'll start to approach those upper 50s to low 60s toward the end of the work week and mostly sunny skies. Very nice out there. Mid to low 60s on Friday and Saturday. Then we'll return to the average temperatures around this time of year as we move until the following Monday.